Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. So, let's talk about Jordan and Porsche. Because the truth of the matter is, this is just a messed up situation. No one is innocent in this whole thing. You know, throughout this conversation, Jordan isn't being completely honest. Which I'm just like, listen, boy, you already sat there and kissed him. Why don't you just sit there and finish up the conversation as far as how Curtis wanted to go further and you stopped him from doing that? Which, again, I'm, I'm so disappointed that she decided to go backwards in this whole thing. And Portia does realize that, you know, to Jordan, it was much more than a kiss. She talks about how it's over and it's done and everything like that. Now, she does get a little bit petty when she talks about the hookup with um, Zeke, but whatever. Long story short, Jordan makes a point as far as you being all upset about this whole thing between your marriage and how things are working out and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if you would have just sat there and listened to um, her advice, you wouldn't, be in the, you wouldn't be in this hole in the first place. You really wouldn't. Like, you really wouldn't have been in this hole in the first place. And so she asked, like, who are you really upset with? Me, Curtis, or yourself? And with that being said, she walked out. And um, I, <laughs> when she walked in there with all black, I was like, yo, this chick is ready for battle at this point. But, um... It almost seemed like she, when she left, she almost seemed like she was in the, in the same shape that she was when she got in there. Like, the whole point of going in there was sit there and unload on her and feel better. And in the end, it was almost better as she do it to probably have just stayed, well, away from Jordan. Because it didn't really accomplish anything. Really didn't. Meanwhile, Curtis finally did tell Trina about the kiss, um, that he, you know, he, he kissed Jordan and everything like that. And I had to sit there and say that Trina took it pretty reasonable. Okay. I was, part of me was ready to sit there and go off on her. If I felt like she would have, you know, came out, came out her mouth sideways or whatever. But what she did realize is that people aren't perfect. They're, they're fallible. You know, Portia did hurt Curtis. And in turn, he wound up doing the same thing back. And it's just, you know, it is what it is. She doesn't like it, but she does understand it. Curtis was a little bit upset with Zeke, you know, telling Trina not to trust him. So, easy. <laughs> the next time that they, that they do wind up seeing each other is um, to sit there and say it's going to be hostile is to put it my way. Mm -hmm. Now, you have this whole thing with Spinelli, Sam, and um, Cody trying to set up Gladys to get her to admit what she did. You get to the, you know, um, Cody calls um, Gladys. You know, Gladys is sitting there running her mouth like usual about her, um, Cody and Sasha and Maxie was sitting there defending him. Anyway, they're down at the poolside. They all wound up meeting up. And now you have this game of bluff or chicken, right? Um, them slowly that they're trying to intimidate Gladys and the Tom the truth by some to saying that they have evidence against her that if she doesn't um you know clear him, then she'll sit there and take the evidence to Sasha. Not the cops for some odd reason, or maybe they just sit there and say they were gonna take it to the cops. Because they did sit there and warn her, yo, listen, you already you know, you already have a history of that they're lying to the cops and just falsifying evidence and stuff like that before, like as far as when Brandon was dead, or we, you know, when you thought that brand or when you made up that Brandon was dead, and of course lying on the oath. So it's like, yeah, you 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 get caught this time, it's not gonna go well. And at first, you know, Gladys, you know, Gladys plays poker or whatever, you know, she's used to snip there, um, you know, can tell when somebody is bluffing and stuff like that. So she just kind of stands strong for a little bit. But then Spinelli is there saying that he tracks some sort of app on her phone, her fitness app. And it can track, you know, one second. 
it can track locations, meaning between the fake um, photographs that they said that they had of her or, or you know, of her or, or him or whatever, and the fact that they could sit there and track where she was, you know, they got, they got enough strong evidence to sit there and, and really, um, you know, out her. So now she's sitting there, you know, in the beginning she was a little bit more confident and stuff like that, but once, you know, Spinelli talked about how he hacked her phone or her, her tracking app or whatever, her, her fitness app, then she was like, oh, this isn't good. So you got that going on. You got Samson up there with that big ass hat, like she's not going to draw attention, um, you know, near the poolside. So she's sitting up there just listening and every, you know, listening in. And then Christina comes in and, you know, she's sitting there talking about how, you know, how her, um, her venture with the, um, the business is going. The um, help the teens or something like that. How that's going. And, you know, Sam is like, half, you know, kind of half listening. Now, throughout this entire time, one second. Throughout this entire time, I kept sitting there thinking, Christina is going to mess this up. I don't know how she's going to mess this up, but she's going to mess this up. She's either going to sit there and say, Sam too loud. Or towards the end, I thought she was going to sit there and want to spill in the drink. On um on the device that that they you know she was that they're listening to or whatever, I thought she was going to do something to mess it up, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person. But um, she practically tells her to beat it, or whatever. Like yo, listen, I'm you know I'm kind of busy, or whatever. And so you know, Christina's like yo, like what's what's going on? It ends pretty much right there. Um. I guess it's kind of a good cliffhanger because you do want to sit, you know, I, I do want to sit there and find out what's going to wind up happening tomorrow. So you got that going on. Um, Lucy and Maxie didn't really do too much of anything. I mean, what he was meant to do was talking to Sasha about Gladys and trusting Cody for different and various reasons and stuff like that. And that was pretty much about it, more or less. I mean, they did sit there and talk about, you know, a potential relationship between Sasha and Cody. You know, the relationship that probably no one on the internet wants for some odd reason. But they did sit there and they talked about that. So, yeah, I got, you got that going on. You got TJ Molly um, finding out that Molly's eggs are not a viable option. Now... You know, TJ Smith to talking about like next steps and everything that they can probably do, and you shouldn't sit there and feel bad. And you know, once again, I, I said this before, but I feel like it bears repeating at this point. You know, when Chris, when when Molly was like, you know, I want to sit there and have your baby, I want to sit there and have a bit of me and a bit of you and stuff like that. It's a perspective from a you know a, a woman's perspective that a man is just never going to understand. And I, I did feel like once again he starts trying to manage her emotions, um, the bad news and everything like that, and how she should sit there and take it instead of just letting her feel how she's going to feel. Because at the end of the day, as long as you're there for that person, when they want to vent, when they want to sit there and, and just kind of let it out, then that's what matters. But sit there, not not to sit there and say you're, you're coddling them, but you're trying to. It felt like a little bit more than just comforting them. In the end, Molly was like, we just, we need a break. We need a break from this whole thing. We need to sit there and kind of get back to normal and stop sitting there trying to do this whole baby planning and stuff like that and doctors and this and that and the third. Because somewhere along the lines, you start to get lost in the source and you um, start to concentrate more on this pregnancy than they do on a relationship. And I'm pretty sure something similar happened with um, Jax and um, Courtney at the time. I remember if it was Jax, Courtney, and somebody. It might have been Jax. It might have been Jax, where he was more he was so focused on baby this and baby that that he ignored his relationship with Courtney at the time. Because for some odd reason. They actually put those two together, and now that I think about it, I'm like, 
Um, so yeah, that happened. I feel like that's about it for the most part. This episode wasn't, this episode was better than yesterday's episode, I would sit there and say. Um, it was decent enough. I felt like it could have been better, but I also felt like it could have been worse. So, mm. I'll take it. I feel like that's pretty much about it. Um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go. Now, as always, if I did miss anything, you know, to sit there and do, come to a live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll be sitting there talking about all the shows. BNB, YNR, Days, and GH, and we'll be sitting there talking about every single character. Because as I always sit there and say, no one is spared the rod. I would not be holding back. I would not be pulling punches. And um, I'm going to sit there and say, <laughs> I'm going to sit there and say whatever I want about whatever character that I see fit. Because I've been doing that before. And I would not stop to sit there and do that. And I know that this is a little kind of a breakaway from what you call it. But given everything that happened last night, I said this is my last review. That at one point I saw Andre Epps um, put out a disclaimer. And I sat there and I said, you know, that just seems kind of unnecessary. Then last night happened. So, yeah. <laughs> but as always, it is always, it is all in good fun. And, um, yeah, that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe. Hopefully, I will sit there and see everyone tonight. And we'll be sitting there going through all the shows that I just mentioned. And um, also, if you are not a member, join to become a member. It is a lot of fun. We sit there and talk about all the shows. Um as much as I love the regular, um, the regular live streams, the members' live streams are a bit different, a little bit more chill. Not to sit there and say that, you know, things get crazy five days a week, but it's just a different vibe. And I think that people would definitely appreciate it and enjoy and enjoy it. So if you're not a member, hit it under the join button below. It's in the description box. So definitely check that out. And with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.